Modern feminists face reality. Why men are still essential. It's not safe. It doesn't look safe to me. Oh. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, my God. It's cooked, man. <laughs> it's done. Modern feminists face reality. Why men are still essential. Today, we're looking at a video from Am Benzo. His video is actually titled Modern Feminists. Women prove why they need men the hardest way. And, you know, guys, watch the end of the video to fully understand the implications that we're seeing here. Why women, ultimately, when they try to be men and replace men, they still discover that they need men for everything. Not just to survive, but just to even cope in daily, in daily life. Benzo's channel is linked in the description. You can go check him out. Let's jump right back into the video. Oh, no. Stop. Oh, man. But um, why is this This is why women should not be allowed to pump gas by themselves. Where is the gas going? Oh, no. Stop. She's going to flood her engine. That's not where her gas goes. Stop. 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 No. This is crazy, guys. This is crazy. And when something like this goes wrong, they'll blame they'll blame the patriarchy. You know, if you, and you know what the crazy, you know what the frightening thing about this is, you have women who are watching, and they were too afraid to approach her and tell her that, tell her that, uh, that hey, you're putting the gas in the wrong place. If a man had been standing there, he would scream and say, "Miss, that's not where the gas goes." Do not turn that car back on. And if he had to, he would call the police, okay, and let the police come in and intervene. Like, hey, like call it, like, hey, uh, I just saw a woman. I'm at the gas station, and a woman just put gas into her engine. And I'm telling her not to get back in the car and turn it on. Can you send someone over here right away? Okay? Like, this is how a man would, would, would in many cases, react. A lot of men today might see something like this and honestly drive away and haul ass. But instinctively, there's still men who would basically immediately take action and say, hey, listen, miss, do not turn that car on. You do not put gas in the engine. All right. And they would assert themselves. This is the necessary. If this is the this is why men are so important, because you can see that these women are just watching and laughing. And oh, my gosh, they would literally let this car just go up in flames and. Only God knows what else because she's, you know, the car is next to is next to a gas is next to gasoline as well. So it wouldn't just be the car that would go up, it could set off a chain reaction. That could be the entire gas station. This is the importance of men in society. All right. Can I help you? Well, that's not gonna honey, that's not gonna read. Oh, oh. oh. <laughs> what is she doing? No, she's not. Expire! No, 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 no. <laughs> no, she said it on <laughs> No way in hell that is a skit right there, y'all. No way in hell. There is no way in hell this is this one, at least the second one. No way in hell that's a skit. All right? I No way in hell that's a skit. All right? If, if that's a skit, let me tell you something, then they should be in jail. Because you, there's no... Stu you, there is no reality where you're going to take a gap, where you're going to go and do something like this in public and think that it's okay to do this, all right? Or, or leave a gas gas pump on the ground. They're trying to, like, no, this is, this, this is not a skit. If it is, they need to be punished for it, okay? Because this is not like a movie scene or something like that. This is a very, very dangerous thing that they're doing. Very, very dangerous thing that they're doing. <laughs> Why is she so afraid to get so close? Okay, here we go. She got it. She got it on the right side this time. Do you think men are important? For a like for what? I can feel my own cooling. I didn't she Here. Oh, okay, there you go. Here we go. 
She's got it. Where is she going? She's doing a, <laughs> she <just laughs> did a circle. <laughs> <laughs> Sensational. <laughs> so on the other side. <laughs> yeah, guys, if this is a skit, it's a level of stupid that they're they're putting people's lives at risk. This is still this would be complete stupidity. And it's hard to believe that this could be real, but as Kevin Samuels used to say, the facts are stranger than the fiction. All right. The facts are way stranger than the fiction. That's that's the craziest thing in the entire world. And women are the ones who are like, oh, you know, they're smarter than men, they develop faster than men. No. Women physically develop faster than men, but men mentally develop faster than women. That's the reality that they teach in science, but women don't acknowledge this. They basically, you know, you have an 18 year old woman and she's like, oh, men take, you know, years to get to where we are mentally. And it's like, uh, no, bro, you develop physically, your bodies develop faster than men, but men develop mentally faster than women. So a 13 year old boy will psychologically develop faster years faster than a than a 15 year old girl all right so for example well a 13 year old girl may develop faster than a than a 13 year old boy psychologically that 13 year old boy is years ahead of the of the of the 13 year old girl we as men we have to rapidly develop quickly because we have to assess our environments the world is not going to take it easy on us we learn very quickly what our status is in the world and what the world expects of us and how the world will punish us, us, punish us and hold us accountable for not only the things that we've done, but also the things that we have not done. <laughs> no way. <laughs> Did you hear him? Oh, there she found the gas tank. <laughs> Got the gas tank. She did. Uh, yes, 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 yes. Okay. No, no! Oh! <laughs> yes, yes. Okay, she has it. She literally had it encircled around. <laughs> that guy's judging her so hardcore. Is it the worker? Yeah. Yeah! yeah! This is not happening. No. <laughs> That's not the right oil. They're gonna wreck their brand new Defender. Okay, what do you need? <laughs> you want to put air? Well, how much air, how much air do you want to put in it? You feel like it's flat? You need more than air. Men are important. Like for what? <laughs> Wait. I was just at the car dealership, and they told me that my car needs an alignment. And I said, "What's an alignment, sir?" And he goes, "Well, basically, it's like it keeps your car going straight." Um, <laughs> when like your hands aren't on the wheel or like when your hands are on the wheel. And I said, why would I need that done? Because in what scenario am I driving my car where my hands are not on the wheel? Like I am the alignment. Thought he could fool me. <laughs> hey man. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. <clears throat> and yet they claim that they don't need men, but I mean, Whatever car you drive in, I mean, somebody has to fix it. And mostly, that industry is predominantly dominated by men. The people that are making all that are making in factories where they uh, manufacture cars is predominantly, again, dominated by men. For simple oil change, tire change, and the, um, any kind of service that you're doing, if I met most, it's... Uh, the men that are doing it so you need the men to do this kind of uh, work on, on cars so you can't go around preaching that you don't need men clearly you need men oh my god i cannot believe this is about to happen how to get this off. Oh, my. <laughs> oh my god how do you get it off there's no gas cap <laughs> she doesn't actually have to take it off Wait, at all. What are you talking about? Where's the cap? There is no cap. This is. My God! There's no gas There's cap. There's no cap? There's no cap on the car. Is that like a new invention? Why is it not going? Why are you making me do this? Because you need to know how to pump gas. This the is. The baby is breathing in the fumes. It's not a baby. 
I'll tell you guys something that happened to me once. I had a friend. I had a friend, and we had been friends for many, many years. And then I, you know, we had not, I hadn't spoken to her in a while. And she told me that she had gotten married, right? And, you know, our conversations used to get kind of kinky. She was into all kinds of kinky stuff. But then she, you know, after she started revealing certain things to me, I was, you know, I said to her, listen, we're actually friends, and I'm not going to BS you. You don't sound, you sound like you're trying to gold dig your husband. You don't even like, you don't even like being physically intimate with him. And she's trying to explain to me like, oh, so you want me to end up in poverty? Like you want me to end up like a single mom and you don't care about me? And I'm telling her no, but you should not try to play this game where you're going to, you know, clean your husband out and, you know, get his money so that you can survive. It doesn't always work out like that. You need to have something for yourself as an adult, you know, and that's something that a friend, I told her that as a friend. She completely, we haven't spoken since. That was years ago. Like, I lost her as a friend because I told her that she needed to be an adult, not live off her husband, and plan ahead for the future, being able to survive without a husband. And she was, like, telling me all kinds of BS, like, oh, my gosh, he's about to come into a bunch of money, and I'm so excited, and asking me for advice about how much money do I think like they, that, like she might, he might get out of this, and you know, and all, and the stocks, and all this stuff. And I'm like, dude, stop banking on this. Stop banking on this man's money. Okay, do not. That's not a way. Of, that's not a good way of living. And a lot of women are now getting scammed by predators who are going online, and they're using the same tactics that women use to rob men and take advantage of men. They're doing this to women now, right? This is the thing about women. They don't like reality and they will turn on you even if you care about them. This is, this is, you know, it's crazy. A lot of women, they love you when you're basically, you know, trying to hook up with them. And I wasn't trying to hook up with her, but they like, they love you when you're basically that guy. But the moment you're no longer that guy and you're like, you're actually being a, a good and genuine person. This happened to me before. It's happened to me before. And, you know, and you start to say, listen, you you're not doing things right in life they go ballistic cuz they can't handle reality they can't handle they can't they can't, they there's like a certain level of emotional immaturity that they cannot handle anything that goes out of what they want and what they des- and what they think that they deserve and as a man we can assess things we can see danger and we can say listen there's danger over here don't go over you know i can't tell you what to do but don't go over that cliff and a lot of men don't listen. They walk over the cliff and they walk over the cliff and then they go over the cliff and now they're crying. And if they say, if they survive, they're, tur- they're, they're injured. You know, they've broken up. They've, they've had multiple injuries and they're never, they may never recover. And they want to come back and they want sympathy from you. You tell this to a woman, you're like, you know, listen, I can't tell you what to do, but don't go over that cliff. They will want to essentially destroy you. How do dare you tell me not to go over that cliff? How dare you tell me this? All right. In other words, you just want me to lie to you. And if I know that you're going to go over that cliff and I don't want my friend to pass away, that it doesn't matter to them. They want that. They want the sweet, sweet lies. Women want sweet, sweet lies. Women want sweet, sweet lies. And it's like, then when they destroy their life and they screw everything up, then because they listen to their feelings and you know they replace feeling, they replace facts with feelings, and then after they've completely ruined their lives and things have gone downhill and they have nothing, they have nothing you know to, to show for themselves other than ruin, you know, ruin scorched earth. Then they're like, okay, let me look at the facts. The facts are I should have listened, but I let my feelings get the get the best of me, right? I let my feelings get the best of me, and I, now I'm in this situation. And this is the reason why women need men to basically tell them sometimes, listen, you're listening to your feelings. You have to look at the facts. If you don't look at the facts, you're going to crash and burn. You're going to torch your life. You're going to torch the lives of others. You're going to scorch the earth around you. And a lot of women can't accept that. You know, women don't understand the value of a man. The value of a man is more than just money and utility. The value of a man is that men balance women out. 
Women cannot, women struggle with emotional control. A lot of women cannot control their emotions and they cannot control their feelings. Wherever their feelings, wherever the wind blows, their feelings will go. And the only thing that a woman is loyal to in this world are her emotions. Okay. And her emotions will always betray her because she will choose the emotions that she likes. She will choose the feelings that she likes and then base her decisions around those feelings. Uh, and that's what leads to a lot of problems and chaos. You have to remember that women spend so much of their lives in chaos that they are drawn to it because it creates emotional highs and emotional lows for them. And as a result of that, they basically end up feeling good. This is the reason why little girls cr cry, start to randomly cry. Part of it is because you know they want to get the attention of their parents. But another part of it is that they literally draw, bring themselves to a place of, of of a point where they almost want, where they're just up to the point where you think that they would they would they would almost pass away, but then they don't, and then they cut it out. They do it deliberately because they are shocking their parasympathetic nervous system, and then they allow their nervous system to return to a point of of equilibrium. And as a result of do, doing that, they go from emotional highs to emotional lows. And it, and it releases dopamines into their brains. So they're like, oh my gosh, I just did this and now I feel really good. Okay, I'm going to keep doing it on a regular basis and it's going to give me hits. All right? It's going to give me hits of dopamines. So they start doing this for the rest of their lives. And then they do this with, with the kinds of men that they're attracted to. So they go out and they get into relationships with toxic men who will also take them through a cycle of emotions, emotional highs and emotional lows. So these men will do that for them. And as a result of that, they will get their regular hits of dopamine. All right. It is, it, it's, it's been, it's, it's a sad thing to say, but you're dealing with dopamine junkies. All right. This is why men are so important in the lives of women, because without men, Women cannot make solid, rock-solid decisions as their emotions will constantly betray them. They will trust their emotions. They will listen to their feelings because they are also conditioned by society and by other women to trust their feelings and trust their in and trust their um their intuition. Their intuition is heavily driven by feelings. Most of their into like women's intuition. Women's intuition is very problematic. Women's score destroy women's intuition has led to women to women destroying very good relationships. All right, creating it's women's intuition is usually wrong. Women's intuition is the truth. Is their intuition is usually wrong because it's emotionally driven. It is not based around facts. It is based around feelings and the feelings that they choose to accept, the feelings that they like the most. You must not make decisions based on feelings. You must make decisions based on facts. All right. This is the reason why men struggle so much when it comes to when it comes to having problems in our lives. When because we are very we're creatures of fact. So creatures of facts. So when the facts don't make any sense, or you know that affects our feelings. When we look at the facts and we're like, oh my gosh, the facts do not align. The reality of things does not align, that's what brings us to a point where we feel helpless. Women, on the other hand, they will often not look at the facts. They will instead look at their feelings and begin going towards the feelings that they choose to align themselves with. So even if their feelings do not align with reality, do not align with the facts, they will go with the feelings that they like. They will scorch the earth around them, and then they will discover that their feelings betrayed them because their feelings did not align with the reality of things. And they will go through life living this way. It's, a, it's an unfortunate reality. It's a 100% unfortunate reality, but it's something that women continue to do. You know, guys, modern feminist, feminists are facing reality, and they're seeing the reasons why men are essential. 50% of women, almost 50% of women, will be childless and single in just five and a half years come 2030. And that's going to have a massive implication on society. Guys, do you know what's happening to Dollar Tree right now? Dollar Tree, the prices are now going up to five to seven dollars an item. Five to seven dollars an item at Dollar Tree. We went from one dollar to two dollars, two dollars to three dollars, five dollars to seven dollars. 
what do you think? How much do you think the things, the, the items are going to cost at these dollar stores in five years? Okay. We're going to be looking at the $10 store. $10 general, y'all. $10 general, where $1 10 years ago is now worth, is now the, you know, $1 10 years ago is now $10 today. So in other words, so basically, what you, the buying power of a dollar in 2020 now requires $20 to buy the, now requires $10 to buy the same item. So the, so the item that you would pick up for a dollar back in 2020 or back in 2019 now cost $10 10 years later. What kind of insane stuff is, what madness is this? What ma that's what, 1,000% inflation? 900% inflation? This is insane, insane. And this is, this, is the, this is the reality that the boomers have left for us. The, the don't blame me boomers. Don't blame me boomers. A lot of women are going to find themselves in extraordinary forms of destitution, homelessness, poverty, struggling for survival because the government can no longer subsidize anyone. The government is broke. And as men are walking away from society, men are now waking up and saying, yeah, I'm not going to subsidize the society. I'll make just, to serve, just enough to survive and enough to thrive and no more. And while you can only use, while you can technically only use fiat currency to make purchases for things, like as, as a, te as, you know, in terms of like, in terms of cash, you guys, you're going to start to see men doing crazy things. Don't be shocked when men start using Pokemon cards to buy and sell things. Okay. They're going to, men will start doing things like using Pokemon cards to buy and sell things. You think that it's a joke. Here's how, here's how this will operate. Here's how this will, ha this will work out. Okay, these things have different years and different series. So you'll have men who will basically go and these cards will be certified by different brokers. They'll be sealed and they will take these cards. And when they want to make purchases, they will make purchases. You'll open up, a, there'll be markets like, just like how we have, let's say, coin market cap, or we have coin gecko that allows you to do quick conversions to figure out how much, let's say, today's Bitcoin is worth in USD. You'll have markets just like this online. Our apps online and apps like these, where they'll open up the apps and they'll basically, you know, or let's say this is a Charizard. You have a Pokemon Char Charizard card that came out in nineteen uh, that came out in nineteen ninety seven. All right, okay, so this card is actually now worth about a thousand dollars in today's in today's market. Or let's say another card. Let's say a, let's say a Charizard card that came out in twenty in tw in, in twenty ten. That this card is now worth about a hundred dollars. So you know, you'll basically look at what the current market value of the card is for the day. And, you know, and, you know, they'll also, you know, if they trade in Pokemon cards, they'll say, okay, so I'll give you that we have this many squirtles and this many squirrels, you know, they're worth this amount of, you know, they came out this, so this is your change. So I'll give you that, I'll give you this item and I'll give you these squirtle cards and that'll be equivalent to the, uh, to the value of this Pokemon card that you're giving me. Like this is where, and they'll basically use an app to do all the conversions. So that basically serves as a form of bartering. As, and you'll have men moving away from currency that way and entering to a whole different market. This is the, re this is the reality we're heading into. And women will be shut out of this because they'll still be cha they will still be chasing cash. If you notice, when it comes to cryptocurrency, most women can't do crypto. There's some women who are, in, who are vested in crypto. Most women today, after all of this time, cannot are still shut out of cryptocurrency currency market. They have to have a man. They have to have a man that goes and gets the crypto for them and does all the conversions and everything and does the math because they can't do it. They can't do it and won't do it. I remember hearing some women who are like, oh, it's not that hard. I have some friends. I have some f f female friends who are computer programmers and they own Bitcoin. So it's obvious that any woman could do it. And I'm just thinking to myself, you're f you have friends who are computer programmers and they own cryptocurrency. Their computer program, you do understand they're computer programmers. Yeah, but I mean, just, yeah, if she's, a, if she's a computer programmer, then, you know, that means that any woman can do it too. So you're saying that if a woman is a doctor, that means that any woman can be a surgeon, could be a surgeon. If she's a surgeon, any woman could do, perform surgery. I'll, exactly. It's nothing. If she can do it, then I can do it too. No, 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 no bro. She, she went to medical school. You understand? So like, so for example, if you have met, you know, I'm not saying that 
it's apple and oranges, but you know, the average man is able to trade in crypto relatively easily, but he has to learn how to do it and he has to take risk. The, tr the, the, the nasty and the really messed up truth is that for a lot of guys, when we start doing crypto, we lose money. Many of us have lost hundreds of dollars making trades that we that we like we we're off by a certain number. We put in the wrong number and oh damn it. Because this is that's a part of learning. Most women will not take that risk. And when you enter into the crypto space, you know, it's changed a bit now, but it's still dangerous. Like it can be the wild, wild west out there on some of these exchanges. The absolute wild, wild west. And you can get scammed very, very easily. It's a sad reality, but it's a reality that we all have to just wake up to. You know, modern feminists are facing this reality right now, why men are essential. And many of them, they've chosen this hill and they're going to pass away. They're going to basically ride out this hill. Others are popping up and they're like, we need to fight for one another. Men, you need to come and help us. You know, we're, we're brothers and sisters. And you're like, bro, you don't bring anything to the table. All right. Go to the, go, you know, go, go to the government. And then they're like, you, how dare you? You don't want to help us? You don't want to help the sisters? You're a predator. How am I a predator, bro? I just don't want to help you, man. I just told you that I don't care. Like, you know, go go to the government, ask them for help because you're not married. You're not, you're not a you're not you're not married, you don't have a husband, you're not in the family unit, you know. So outside of your parents and your immediate family members, you don't have anyone of, of those people to turn to. And men are not going to come out and rescue women and just give them money because they're single and because you say that we're brothers and sisters. Men aren't walking around giving other men money. Why do you think they're just going to walk around and give women money and help subsidize their living because you feel like it? It's not going to happen. And they basically turn on you immediately. Guys, a lot of women are going to be facing hardship, destitution, poverty, everything that you can think of as men are walking away you know, and, and choosing you from their best alternative or they're going their own way and choosing to not have relationships and just separate themselves from relationships and society as a whole. And by the way, guys, if you're enjoying the content, subscribe to our newsletter for my personal thoughts, insights, and a free copy of my new guide. I've just put out a brand new one, the Digital Nomad Blueprint. Click the link in the description to get your free copy. And guys, also subscribe to the Angry Guy Clip channel. Where, I, where we post shorter videos and video responses, and also to the Angry Guy live channel where we live stream. Both channels are linked in the description. And finally, guys, protect your online privacy with NordVPN. Click the link in the description to get started and support the channel. What do you guys think regarding all of this modern feminist face reality? Why men are essential? Let me know your thoughts. We'll talk about it in the comments. Like the video if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you like the video, share the video. And just remember that all roads lead to MWA, men walking away, and cheers.